and welcome back to episode 13 re-recorded of our Enter the Gungeon runs. Um, we are going back in with the robot because I uh, believe he is the only entity at the moment, the only uh, player or player character that I need to upgrade or I need to finish the past of. We have platinum bullets and the microtransaction gun left. Now I don't know if that means that we are like end game at the moment. But, yeah. Uh, Yuri is asking, have I ever yiffed for Crash Bandicoot? No, I have not. Um, six lead maidens. Okay. Yeah, no, yiffing is not a thing for me. It's not something I do. I'm not really too interested in, you know, game characters and such. But, oh, what's that? A super, super bullet thinks that he is very high here. In fact, he is not. Just like real life. Cool. Uh, would I yiff for Sans? No. Meme answer is yes, but actual answer is no. I much prefer flesh than bones. Though it is important to make sure that you have good bone structure. Drink your milk, etc. I can agree with that, but um, yeah, much prefer flesh than bones, frankly. Which, taken out of context, could possibly sound a bit weird, but on the other hand, the counterance is that it is a thing. You don't, you can't believe we have a game where Steve can fight Sands. I mean, yeah, it's pretty insane. I'm hyped. Like, the uh, recent update, or recent Minecraft release stuff is insane. Not to mention the fact that then there's also the Smash stuff, which tangents into it. Like, this week, or the last few nights, have been absolutely insane in terms of, like, announcements and releases. Minecraft pig costume. Yeah, you know I'm buying that immediately. Like, that's going to be such a meme. I require it. Oh boy, the bubble gun, or the balloon gun. Why does it look like that? I mean, why doesn't it look like that? But the thing that you're forgetting is that we essentially just have now two pig skins, because if you recall the original, um, the original um, creation story of the creeper is that it used to be a pig. Heart locket, charm horn, or disarming personality. Get that one because that one's going to come in handy that means we can get the key so that way we can get the other thing notch is back to twitter oh yeah i haven't even thought of what notch is going to be yet uh, he changed his profile to cube kirby all things considered i don't blame him cube kirby is best kirby uh oh, that doesn't count interesting It is sort of weird to think that, like, because of something that, like, he created in the past, he now, or, like, Minecraft is now part of Smash. Or he, and other, other people, of course. I highly doubt that if it was just Notch working on the team that it would, that it properly would have gotten to where it is today, but, yeah. He was a part of it to some degree. Well, this is unfortunate. Bottle. I wonder if I could just, like, use to walk out. The thing is, like, the bottle's cool and all, but, like, there's no reason that I wouldn't take the bottle. Oh, no, crash in there. There's no reason I would take the bottle. Except for, like, ammo, I suppose, but even still, it's a whole thing. Actually, this air gun is actually quite good. And there's another key. Okay, not bad, not bad. Ooh, good thing we got the key and a Raiden Coil. No, it's Thunderclap. Okay, that's pretty gamer. There we go. Uh, what was my moment of realisation that this that it was Steve in the trailer? Um, the, like, singular frame, and I, I watched back through it to see whether it was worth uploading. I don't think it is. 
but the singular frame where Mario crashes the, through the roof, and the the roof is literally made of squares, or like the the hole is squares. I was like, okay, I that's when I was like, holy shit, this is Steve. And, like, you know, watching back through it, you can tell like, my mouth just wasn't moving at that moment, but it was, like, holy fuck. And then, like, in that span of, like, the millisecond where that I saw that and it processed, I realised that um, the thing that Xander and I had talked about was actually happening and was correct. But, yeah, that was the singular moment when I realised it was Steve. Um, and I pres uh, on one hand I want to say for those who don't know, but I'm pretty sure everyone probably knows at the moment, given it's Smash Bros and, you know, Minecraft, which are like two really massive games and game franchises. Okay, let me just quickly focus for half a second. Yeah, I still don't know what Travis Touchdown is, but all things considered... In my opinion, that was as best as it possibly could have been. Okay, just got to, um, no more heroes, great games. Ah, oh, okay, fair. Actually, that one does sound familiar, now that I think about it. Yeah, maybe at some point. Travis said bastard in a Nintendo Direct. Fair. Um, let's ammo up. And we got the Huntsman as well. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Do we have enough money to justify really anything? Or pu purchasing anything? Blanks could be good. Table take blanks. Or we could go for the heart. No, we don't need the heart, heart locket. Yep. Table take blanks it is. Very nice. Master Chief still has a chance. I mean, yeah, we still have another four character announcements. Like, now that they've hit they've hit Minecraft Steve, I think everyone is in. Uh, what the fuck is Smash 6 going to be? I don't know if there will be a Smash 6. Like, I've heard a few times it be said that Smash, at this point, like, the, the Smash we're on, Smash Ultimate, will be the final Smash. But I suppose we'll see. I, I reckon if there is another Smash... It won't be for quite a while. Smash Ultimate. Smash Infinite. Yeah, that's it. If it's anything, it's going to be Smash Infinite, I reckon. Alright, and I think we're doing actually quite useful here. But a bing. Another chest. Interesting. Well, we can't open that yet. Smash Infinite is a fan mod. Wait, hang on. For Brawl. Okay, fair. I haven't heard of Smash Infinite, so fair. Under or explains why I don't know of it. I never really saw much into the modding community for Smash, despite being a fit, big, pretty big Smash fan, I would say. Very nice. Okay. And now we've got to go back around this way. Just roll over the pit. I'm not too stressed over that pit there. Uh, I've got this massive sunburn all along my neck. I went out driving with uh, with one of the boys before D&D on Saturday. And I just got massively sunburnt. Now you know it's a stretch, but what if after all the characters are released, we get a subspace mode that includes all the characters, including DLC? I'd be definitely down for that, because I did, I actually like, I don't know, it does feel like the game, or the story mode was a bit small. Granted, that's because I grinded it for like 24-7 uh, until I'd finished it, but I would like more story mode content sort of thing.
Okay, come on. Almost got him, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's just balloon it up. Come on. There we go. Uh, it wasn't small. It was like 13 hours long. True. I mean, granted, it was probably a bit longer because I, I did the first playthrough on... Um, on... what's it called? Uh, I did the whole, whole first playthrough on... Uh, hard mode, so I had to retry it a bunch of times, and I went specifically and 100 percented it. Ooh, one of these. Let's go, boys. Oh no, he's using the N-word on me. He's shooting all those ends. Yeah, Pauline fucking sucked. Oh hey, I just realized that by mashing it I can shoot faster. Yes, that's big old meme. Ooh, pink eye. Bloody eyes. Very nice. Don't suppose we can do it again? I don't think so. Rip. Well, um, there's another chest over there. Do, 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 do. I'm just thinking through what the play is. So, we need to come through and we need to essentially buy a key, I reckon. A chaff grenade. That's what happens when you uh, wear shorts after going swimming and walk around a bunch. Ooh, the Ring of Miserly Protection doesn't actually do anything, and we can't buy any keys. Well, that was pretty shit, not gonna lie. Well, onwards we go, let's hope we find some keys. Dr. Wily can fuck off, yep, here, here to that, fucking hell. Dr. Wily sucked. I don't actually remember how I ended up beating it, but I remember I got real fucking lucky. Pretty sure it was one of those um, one of those matches where I just like somehow managed to just like either spike or like have them jump off the edge and fucking die immediately. But yeah, I don't recall specifically. Uh. Use Lucas and PK fire. Nah, I, I, I never really want. Like I always wanted to make sure I feel I felt relatively justified doing it. And as much as that match sucked, I was like, Lucas and PK fire was, um, yeah, it felt dirty still. But I don't blame you for using it though. To be fair, you can't believe they gave Steve PK fire. Yeah, the fucking um. The what is it using the flint and steel? That spook that, that's concerning to me, frankly, where I'm like, oh man, that's going to be legitimately a pain to deal with. Okay, balloon it up. Oh, that's the uh this one. Ah uh, no, don't pee in the water. I can't even use my ability, it seems. My uh item. She, it's a gungeon hoo ha hoo ha. Oh no. Actually, no, it, no correction, it's not. It's a gorgon, so it would not be a siren. I don't mind me just being dumb, real quick. Uh, if you don't understand what I what I mean when I say it's a hoo ha hoo ha, you gotta watch MC Eternal because we call them hoo ha hoo ha's because that's the sound that they make. It's going to be hell when you're fighting Steve, but when you're Steve, it's going to be so fun. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. It's like Hero, I would say. Alright. Well, this is definitely unfortunate. There's so many chests around here. And we don't have the chest thing that was last round, or last game. Which I'm pretty sure earlier I said we had it, but we don't actually have it. Have it. Uh, Huntsman, be gone, fool. Point blank shotgun. So, I was watching um, a game. Uh, what was it Sakurai with the Diamond Sword is so powerful? Yeah, it's true. It is true energy. 
Um, but yeah, so I saw a, a game last night that Sparkles was streaming, and I think Crafter, I think, was streaming it. Not in the Discord, but um, it said in Discord that he was streaming the same game. It was like Phantophobia or Phasmophobia or something like that, where it's like uh, ghost hunting. And that it's one of those games where like it looks so janky, yet it looks really fun. The only thing is it's like 20 bucks, and with 20 bucks I could like buy literally anything else. So, yeah, I'm deciding what the play is. This game everyone's been playing, give it a week. Yeah, definitely. Which, it's sort of odd because it seems that that's been a, um, a theme of this year of just, like, games that people start, like, pick up and then put down in a week's time sort of thing. Uh, let's get rid of the Judge. And let's get rid of, I think, the Huntsman, frankly. Because that was giving us curse. And as much as I do like curse. Ooh, actually, I think, um. Yeah, curse. Oh, you're fucking fucking me. That hurts me. It really does. I can't stand this weapon. Well, crap. You gotta come up here, and I guess we're just breaking open a bunch of chests now. Cool. Right. Grounded, full shits, among us. Um, I don't even remember what, oh yeah, that's right, Grounded was that one where you like, it's like the Honey Shrunk the Kids, or Honey I Shrunk the Kids game. Um, among us, and even though it's not dead, uh, it's, it is dying down. Now this is the new one, yeah. Which, I mean, on one hand, it's definitely good to give awareness for, you know, indie games, or at least like smaller games, so I can appreciate that. But it is one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, you know, a bit hard. Or it's, yeah, a thing. Ooh, actually, okay. Oh, hang on. Damn it, I can't push... Oh. Damn it. Okay, it's a shame. I can't push tables in here. It just ruins your recommended. True. But, I mean, I don't really look through my recommended too much anyways. Actually, no correction, I look through my recommended tons. I just don't watch much stuff from my recommended. I just scroll, 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 and all of it I don't want to watch anyways. Or stuff I have to be in the right mood to watch. But, um, you know, Phasmophobia, honestly, I did like watching Sparkles play it, because you can tell he has no fucking clue what he's doing. But, um, yeah, I feel like it's one of those ones where it is a very slow game, it feels. But yeah, somehow people expected the Among Us crewmate to be a Smash fighter. Um, no. Maybe as a bunch of spirits, not a fighter though, Jesus. Definitely not a fighter. Hey, a key. Could have gotten a few of those last floor, but whatever works. Fighters take a lot of time. True, that's true as well. But, yeah, I do very much like the um, the skins that we got. Like, legitimately, this is the first time where multiple skins... Um, multiple skins from the one pack I've, like, looked at and have gone, like, yes, I want those. The Creeper one for the meme, but, um, you know... Creeper for the meme, and also the pig. Pig is massive meme, but I definitely want to get it. Plunger or Bubble Blaster, none of them, really. Um, it's not just here's a model, he, um, here's a moveset, bing, bing, boom. Yeah. It's one of those things where it, there's, because it does come down to, like, you know, making sure that you have the right, like, hitboxing and all that sort of stuff, and that hitboxing, if I'm not mistaken, is what probably takes quite a lot of time past the conceptual phase. But, yeah, I don't know, it's one of those things where, like, frankly, I don't want there to be massive amounts of fighters. I want the fighters to be, like, properly chosen and properly, like, created, as opposed to having fighters that maybe are less worked on than others. But, like, legitimately, like, when I looked at Steve, it was, I straight up got that, like, this is, like, or rather when I saw how they implemented Steve, it felt like it belonged in Smash sort of thing. At least to me, personally. 
Like the way it was put in, it looked real good in my opinion. And that's like, even like looking past the, or not nostalgia, but like the hype, it, it does feel like it legitimately was built really well, which I can appreciate. Oh, okay. This is going to be a bit of a busy room, it seems. The wind took the bird out of the air. Very nice. Brawl Meta Knight gliders back. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah the, um, the Elytra. That's right. Yeah, I saw the Elytra and I was like, ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Ooh, the triple crossbow. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, the, um... You have a massive delay, hold on. Okay. But yeah, it was, um, I was... I do like it. It's definitely one of those... Um, like, this week has been like the week of Minecraft, I would say. And frankly, I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, given that we're literally playing Minecraft on stream every... Every... Well, not every day, but most days nowadays, given that... Um, We've got MC Eternal. It's pretty fresh. Though I, I was surprised that Ender Pearl wasn't the recovery. I mean, I guess it makes sense for an Elytra, but the Ender Pearl would have been where I would go with it, or where I've expected it to go rather. Um, it seems that with Steve, they put in every broken move from every character and just put it in one. Yeah, pretty much. You got your PK Fire, you got the Meta Knight Glide, you got um, you got the Side B, like, Minecart Ride. The building is the th main thing, in my opinion, which, built, well, obviously, it's Minecraft, you mine, you craft, you build. And frankly, I can't say I'm necessarily against it, it does look kind of hype. Then you got the Mega Man Attack. Mega Man Attack? What? I'm not sure what you mean by that, and that scares me that you say that. The spam jab one. Well, where you can just jab, 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 sort of thing, but don't most characters have that? Oh, you can just walk and attack. Oh, fair. I thought you meant that it was like a like the neutral was a ranged thing, which I was like, hang on, I don't remember that. There goes the ring. Uh, ammo... Melinda boss. It's probably better that we should just save our ammo at the moment. Blast that. Minecraft Let's Play Taunt is amazing. Yeah, I still haven't seen that, I, but it does look like something I want to watch. I should probably um, take a look at it after we finish the recording. Then uh, I'll quickly watch it and then we can uh, get into the next thing we want to do. Um, boop. Portable table. Interesting. You know, I think that's actually the play. I'm going to take the portable table. Um, had to have watched Minecraft Let's Plays to know that taunt. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what it is, but yeah. Okay, onwards we move. Sakurai has seen Minecraft Let's Plays. Yeah, just makes me think of, oh, I wonder which ones, I guess. Okay, I'm going to have to f do a bit of focusing on this. Don't know what was happening with that bomb there. Uh, camera, no, thunderclap. Oh, we were out of balloon ammo, it seems. That's a rip. Okay, well, there goes that. Dumb little shooting gunner, dude. Hmm. Now the question is... I'm making photos of a tank. Let's just hope China doesn't get too edgy.
finds himself watching all of Hermit Crow. Wait, hang on. Sakura, wait. I feel like I missed a lot of that. What the fuck is, actual fuck is this timeline? Which timeline? Uh, Merchant Sakura goes into a massive rabbit hole when he looks for taunt ideas. He finds himself watching all of Hermitcraft. Frankly, if there was a Hermitcraft, like if they were referencing Hermitcraft, I would very much appreciate that. Because I do like me a good thing of Hermitcraft. I've already watched like two episodes of Hermitcraft today, and I've got another one loaded up to watch after stream. Because uh, Green's episode 44 came out, and that was the one where he was challenged to have a uh, mental breakdown in the episode. From Hermit Challengers. I mean, to be fair, it went exactly as I expected it to. But yeah, it was pretty good though. There goes the tank. That was a bit brutal, but we, we survived. Another crossbow, huh? Uh, triple sticky. Interesting. Oh man. Oh man, this is actually quite powerful. I guess so we want to be using, well, the triple sticky, it seems. Um, indeed. I mean, it was a good episode, I did enjoy it. Uh, yeah, we've got, I suppose, remember the CEX thing? What, how you went to CEX and got yourself a bunch of games? Or you got money to get games, yeah. Somewhat. Should probably have uh, used a couple more blanks. You're gonna buy Chibi Robo with your 180 pounds? Fair. Keyword, so I'm guessing their keyword is was, but Chibi Robo is 100 pounds. So wouldn't you have been saving it? Saving money, I guess? Hey, none of that, you little bit of flying swordman dude. You're not spending a hundred pounds for Chibi Robo. I mean, didn't, weren't you just saying that you had, you were going to buy it with your 180 pounds? I'm guessing that was a typo. Okay, there's a chest there. Interesting. Are you going to buy it with 180 till you found out? Oh, right, so you, you're saying that you weren't going to spend the entire 180 on it. That's fair. Yeah, I'm not really one for collectibles like that, unless they're very cheap. Because, yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't know. The only stuff I really actually have, like, stuff of is usually, like, Hero Academia stuff. Though I was considering getting like a poster from Shield Hero or something. You sure Chibi Robo is great, but fucking hell, true. I suppose I should flip a table just to make sure there's no secret area in here. Oh Jesus, this is going to be a room that exists. Okay, we're already out of ammo on that one. Okay, that's a bit of a rip. Oh, hey, wait. Oh, so the triple one explodes. Okay, cool. Pretty gamer. Executed with impunity. That's actually quite useful. Uh, what would be your ideal Smash Brothers Ultimate Subspace Emissary? Um, I mean, just a proper cinematic um, thing where, you know, you go through and properly, like there's a story relating to each character, like a proper cinematic like hour on each story, well I don't know if it'd be an hour, but like a decent amount of time on each character. Um, balloon gun, all of these are decent, I want to keep them. Um, 
We got a bit of junk actually. Oh, that's right, junk actually ups my damage. I forgot about that. Okay, come on. Hey, none of that. Stop following me. Be gone, fool. Um, I mean, true, yeah. Well, I mean, emphasis on, um, I think there'd be a bit of interesting story that comes with, like, the DLC characters, so if they, like, put a bit of focus into the DLC characters to give them some love, that'd be pretty fresh. Get back down here. None of that. Ammo. Um, crap. Give me, uh, I can't change my guns while I'm in here. Damn it. Okay. That sucked. Well, that's a unfortunate because I can't change to guns that have no ammo. And I couldn't pick it up with just the one gun I had. Well, that was episode 13, I believe. Uh, 14 is luckily one I still have. So we won't need to re-record 14. Um, and I think we'll save 15 for a proper day. Because we... Um, oh, I don't really have time for a proper like 2-3 hour episode today. Uh, what groups would you like to see? Because that was your favourite spot uh, part. Seeing which which groups would show up. Um, true. Um, I'm not particularly too sure. Like theoretically, I'd be pretty hyped seeing any sort of groups. Frankly, like get Minecraft Steve combined with like you know Mario or you know I don't know say like Pikachu or something. Samus with like Min Min and Zelda, well, not Zelda. Samus, Min Min, and I think Banjo and Kazooie, and then the three girl, like Kazooie, uh, Samus, and Min Min can have their little like meme bit, and Banjo's just sitting there, like, oh, okay, sure. They have their conversation, and Banjo's just there, like, oh, yeah. You know, for once, uh, Kazooie actually gets to properly like get into the conversation I guess um what else Ganondorf I mean Ganondorf because you know all the evil characters are going to be put together Duck Hunt Duo and Banjo eh I still hate Duck Hunt Duo but yeah anyways I'm going to wrap up this episode 13 of um of Gungeon I hope you've appre well, I hope, hope you've enjoyed I appreciate you being here all that good sort of stuff um, I mean, having all the characters actually have, like, vo their voice actors or some voice actors coming in would be nice. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.